Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then hello my name is Kate I hope you're all doing really well so this is currently future Kate because I am back from Mykonos and I had the best time it was so nice I really tried to switch off work and it was just lovely I tried to edit this video when I was out there and upload it but that just didn't happen so before we get into packing quick interruption I came back to a huge misguided order I placed before going to Mykonos and it's very autumn winter focused which is very exciting but also a huge contrast to a summary pack with me but I've just been trying to think when am I going to get this into a video and I actually don't know when I can because I've got quite a busy few weeks ahead and I don't want the stuff to go out of stock so I'm going to show you guys now and then afterwards we're going to go straight back into the packing but yeah you guys aren't ready I'm so excited to show you all of these bits as you can see there's two big bags here behind me so let's go okay so I picked up this really nice rib basic top and I just love these kind of t-shirts I wear these all the time in winter they are great for layering obviously and yeah honestly I can never have enough of these it's quite like a thick material it's really lovely as you can see it's not see-through at all I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera but it's almost like this ribbed material Material, so it feels super cozy and I also did pick this up in black so I'll show you guys that shortly and I also picked up these jeans oh my god I love these so much so they are that mum style jean that I always wear and they have these rips at the knees so yeah they're definitely like a nice style for something a bit more casual and everyday they are a tiny bit long for me so i have just um rolled them up slightly at the bottom and then these trainers that i'm wearing i've actually had these trainers for ages these are also misguided though and yeah i'd say the jeans come up a little bit large so definitely go a size down if you can but what i do love about them is how high-waisted they are like they fit very comfortably right over the waist which i just find is the most flattering look on jeans I forgot to mention the size i picked both of these up in a size six this next look would actually make a really good airport outfit i've got that same t-shirt on but in black and um as you can see it's just got that slightly higher neck which i find really flattering and just looks quite chic and then i've got these joggers on and what i love about these joggers is the pockets make this bit come out which just gives you such an illusion of having a small waist and then like nice kind of round hips and in reality i absolutely do not have that i'm built like a stick but these give the illusion of you having that kind of look and i think that's really cool i really just like nice simple jogger just to have in your wardrobe great for like running errands kind of days again i've paired it with those misguided trainers and overall i just think this is a really chic comfortable and again i got a size six in both of these okay and i've just added this oversized leather jacket and i just think this is so cool you guys probably would have seen i hope i'm in focus um yeah you guys probably would have seen my other misguided leather jacket because i've worn it so much try to put a photo up on the screen here but that's quite a like well sized jacket whereas i wanted something to be really oversized and just quite cool and this does the job perfectly it's like oversized but not too oversized and i believe this is their premium biker jacket so the quality feels so good it really just looks like the absolute real deal and i am loving this this is going to be such a great item in the autumn winter i just think you can put a leather jacket over any outfit and it immediately look so elevated so cool and they're just a wardrobe staple that will never ever ever go out of fashion and then for reference i got this in a size eight definitely wouldn't size up or down as it does come quite oversized already okay and this next outfit feels like such a me typical autumnal me outfit and i'm obsessed i have a feeling that this jacket is going to go out straight away so make sure you get it if you don't want to miss out basically it's this gorgeous houndstooth chocolatey jacket hello <laughs> there's just like a slightly like shiny glittery fabric woven into this but it's not like tacky if that makes sense um, but yeah, I didn't realise when I got it that I had this, but I actually don't mind it at all. You can barely see it anyway. You could also pair this with just like a black hoodie underneath if you want to layer up. But I've just gone with the same top as before, some black skinny jeans. And then these boots here are actually last year. Um, but I have checked and misguided do still do them. And I feel like last year these boots just completely flew off the shelves in like mid-September. You couldn't get them anywhere. But um, yeah, I'll link these down below. They're exactly the same. But overall, I just think this is such a cute outfit. It's very comfortable, very seasonal. And yeah. Yeah, I love it. Oh, and then just in the jacket, I picked this one up in a size 12. Okay, and then this next jacket I am obsessed with. I think it's so gorgeous. The only thing is it's about five times too big for me. So yeah, I'm really sad about it. But I'll give this one to B and then I'll get a smaller one for myself. Look how cute it is. I just think this is so gorgeous. And if it was a bit smaller, it would look a little bit more autumnal. I think where it is just so big right now, it looks like it's made for winter. But I've just got the same outfit on underneath and it's big chunky boots. And yeah, I just love the length of it. It's like that kind of oversized 
um not a super long jacket but it's like not a short either it's got these big pockets on the front and then these lovely kind of tortoiseshell buttons going down and i'm just obsessed um so yeah b's very lucky because i really want this and hopefully they still have it in stock yeah so i got this in a size 12 which is normally what i get in coats and jackets but I'm assuming that this is already made to be oversized, which is why it's so big. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go for like a six if they have it. Okay, and then we have this last look here with this amazing two-tone trench that I'm just in love with. You have the khaki at the top and then the camel at the bottom. And as you guys know, I am such a huge fan of trenches in the autumn. I have, I think, of a, I think I've got like a couple, maybe like two or three. And I just love how it's a little bit different to my other ones. It's a really good length. Um, I'm 5'4 for reference, but it's like really long, but not like on the floor long. And I find that like sometimes with coats, if they're a little bit on the short side, I've got a thing with coats that aren't the right length. And I feel like the longer they are, they just look really expensive. And this definitely looks expensive. Yeah, I love it. And it actually doesn't have a tie waistband, which is actually quite good because I find that these waistbands always just fall off me straight away um, and I end up tying them at the back anyway. So that's really good. It also has pockets as well, which is obviously an essential for us girls. So beyond excited to wear all of these things in autumn winter. It's making me feel a bit giddy thinking of all of the outfits I can wear and the coziness of it all and the leaves. Oh, just everything makes me so happy. Oh, and then just to finish off this outfit, I paired it with those trainers again. You could also wear the boots equally, but I love how the trainers make it feel a lot more kind of like running errands. Very, again, of duty vibes. I've just added my YSL bag as well to this. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little misguided interruption haul and let's go back to the packing where we're going to go straight from autumn to summer hello guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then hello my name is kate i hope you're all having a really lovely week so as you already know by the title i'm going to be doing a pack with me style video today i'm going to make an arse tomorrow morning really really excited it's a very last minute trip i literally booked it a couple of days ago but yeah it's the last week of summer um i don't know if that's technically right but it's the last week of august and we have not had the summer at all in england there's a bunny Hello. and as soon as september hits i go into full autumn mode so i just wanted to have like a nice last bit of summer in the sunshine and um yeah opal was desperate to say hello as always don't lick my face i've got makeup on and unlike ibiza i'm not vlogging this time that's why i thought i'd do a bit of a pack with me so i can show you the holiday through my outfits and what i'm taking with me and i'm not going to do too much work as well when i'm out there so i haven't got much to shoot um i haven't bought loads and loads of outfits like i normally would normally i'd buy like double the amount i need um but yeah this time i'm just reusing things i already have and normally i go nuts before going on holiday and i order so much stuff like twice as much as i need um but this time i'm going to be a little bit more low-key i'm kind of just taking what i need um saying that low-key for me isn't very low-key i love fashion so there's gonna be yeah gonna have more clothes than i actually need yeah let's go i've kind of organized things a little bit so this is what i've got going on so far um here we have some rough outfit planning i've got a couple of new bikinis here i actually don't have a suitcase right now i ordered one yesterday and it's arriving this morning because my old suitcase was from primark and that suitcase has been with me has been with me for years it came to australia with me it had all my things in and it's really on its last legs and if you guys watch my ibiza vlog you know that i wrapped it and i don't want to wrap another suitcase so i've ordered a nice new one which is going to hopefully last me a long time because i did spend a little bit more money on it okay so it says it's going to arrive in 35 minutes approximately i love that um very specific um, so in the meantime, I'm going to plan outfits. Okay, so we have this little number. I've shown you this recently in A. It was in my Zara video. It's actually from Pretty Lavish. It's a two-piece set. So it's these lovely linen trousers with this matching bandeau. And I feel like this is a glam day look. This was another thing in my Zara haul. What are you doing? This one thinks that she's digging for something. What are you digging? There's nothing there, honey. I've just had an Amazon delivery turn up on my door. As you guys know, I am a big Amazon delivery fan and I love to order really, really random bits off there. So I thought I'd do a quick haul. I got this Alexa activated plug socket. So unnecessary. I think it was about four pounds. Um, but you can actually be like, Alexa, turn on my lights and this will do it for you, which is very cool, very modern. I've got some candles, put in the candlesticks. I got a dustpan and brush because um, you don't actually have one. And it's just one of those household essentials. 
And I also got these, and these are literally like the snack of my childhood. Um, so I ordered them in bulk. I think you get 60 in here, but it was about 30 pounds, which seems ridiculous. But if you divide it up, it's like 50p a bar, which is actually really good for these. And yeah, I'm just a real fruit snacker bar kind of girl. And they have all of these different flavors. Um, I needed to have these when I was a kid. So very nostalgic and a very, very random order. Anyway, this is the kimono style dress from Zara that I also recently showed in a video. And I think this is gonna be like an evening look. So I've got some heels somewhere. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I've got these heels here, which are very old. They're a pair from New Look, and I'm obsessed with these. I absolutely love them. I'll try and link some similar below if I can. So that's gonna be like an evening dinner look. This is like a day look again. So again, this was in my Zara haul, this little top. Um, and I've also got this top here as well, which is also from Zara, just a plain little knit. And that can also go with that. I've also got this gorgeous skirt from pretty lavish again i've actually got this for ibiza but it didn't arrive in time so i'm going to take this with me um this time oh and by the way my outfit is from um angel collection which is ellie darby's brand and it's the comfiest set ever i absolutely love it this white skirt and this little knit that's so cute okay that's definitely an outfit so i'm just gonna pop things into outfits so i know what i've got i've also got this dress which is from the brand um we are what which is by we are twin set and they really kindly sent this out to me today um and look how gorgeous it is very holiday vibes not the kind of thing i'd wear in the uk but definitely something i'd wear abroad and i just think it's gorgeous and we have this white dress which is from a boutique called Anne louise boutique i'm gonna try show you this mm, no do you know what i won't this will be on my instagram though for sure it basically looks really odd when it's not on um, it also low-key looks like a wedding dress. I've also got this white halter neck top. Again, I showed you guys this in my Zara haul. I'll link that down below. And some white straight leg trousers for, again, another evening look. So I just need to have some shoes to pair with this. I also picked up this new look dress. Again, this is for Ibiza. Kind of like this little keyhole thing at the top. And it's long, silky, silky? Long, silky band. What am I trying to say? Long, slil... Guys, what... I've forgotten how to speak English. A long, silky, silky, slinky, slinky, a long, slinky bodycon. Oh my god, that was really hard to say. Okay, um, so with this, I'll probably pair that with some like black strappy heels. So those are kind of like my nice um, glam outfits, I guess, and like day glam outfit. I also, actually, I did buy some things. I bought these two bikinis from ASOS. This is like one of those really itty bitty, tiny bikinis. I just loved how like kind of stringy it was. Um, very simple and easy. And then I also got this one, which I think is slightly verging on tacky with like the gold, but I have to say guys, I do love a bit of tack sometimes. I really liked it. Again, it's like that whole neck style, which I think is really flattering. And then in terms of like everyday casual outfits, I've got these shorts, which I took to Ibiza. These are just some really lovely plain ones from New Look and they're so comfortable. They're just really great for pairing with like swim and like a loose linen shirt. So these are definitely coming. And then you obviously can't go on holiday without some nice loose shirts. So I've got two, I've got one from New Look, um, which is just really nice and lightweight. And I've also got this one, which is like a linen, very kind of natural material that just fell on the floor. And yeah, this one is from Stradivarius. It doesn't want to focus. Um, but I'll have it linked down below. Yeah, these are just good for putting over bikinis, adding some shorts and stuff like that. Shorts wise, I'm going to take these blue ones from Karen Millen. And then also these white ones from Zara. They're like this paper bag style fit. And I just love the fit of them so much. I actually try to avoid denim shorts on holiday just because I think... They're just a bit like, I don't know, stiff and a bit hot and sweaty when you're abroad. And they're the kind of thing I'd wear in the UK. So I try to like separate my UK wardrobe and holiday wardrobe slightly, just because it's nice to mix it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do shoes next. Let's do shoes. Um, if you can see a massive foundation line, I fake tanned this morning, so I can all that. These are the shoes that I've got so far. These two are from New Look. I'll try and link these down below. I have a feeling these are out of stock though. These are the most comfortable heels ever so i'll link them anyway and then hopefully they'll come back um i've worn these ones to death these ones are h&m um i just love how pointy the 
Toas. These ones are Amazon Fashion, a great little Hermes um, Oran dupe. I was actually hoping to get the real deal, but every time I've gone into Hermes, the queues have been so long. And if you watched my last vlog as well, you would have seen I tried to get the Louis Vuitton sandals. And I haven't had a chance to get them since because they were sold out in the Westfield store and they had them in Harrods. But yeah, I haven't had a chance to go into Harrods. So yeah, I'll have to wait for next summer. And in the meantime, I'll just rewear all of my other favourite shoes. The bunnies absolutely love it when I'm packing or like organising stuff. They love just to like go over everything and smell it all and like dig at it. I don't know why they love it so much. They also love a label. I'm quite lucky with them because they're not big chewers. So they don't chew wires or cables or anything like that, but they do love a good label. Just inspecting all the clothes. Do you think I made some good choices, honey? Do we like the Zara shorts? Yes? I'm also going to take these um, shoes from Misguided. Again, a great little designer dupe. Very like the Balenciaga trainers, but I did try the Balenciagas years ago. They just don't suit me. They're far too thick. Whereas these are good because they're a lot like kind of slimmer. But yeah, if I do like any hiking and stuff when I'm out there, these will be, I think these will be quite a good option. So I'll take these as well. Okay, so my luggage has just arrived um, and I'm going to start packing things up. So with the shoes, I just like to pop them in dust bags. Um, so I've got some dust bags from like other shoes I've bought before. So I'm going to pop them in here just so everything stays a bit more clean. Okay, and then I'm going to pop the clothes in and before I put the clothes in I'll take photos normally I take photos of them when they're on but I've got a fake tan on so I don't really want to get a fake tan on everything so I've just taken a photo of like this and then written on the photo white shoe so I know exactly what I have and what I want to pair with it <laughs> small and like itty bitty like bikinis and underwear and stuff like that i always put them in these zip blocker bags i've actually got these ones from the napco and they just come with the pajamas if you order them um but you can get these on amazon so i'll link them down below but they're just such a like good way of compartmentalizing is that a word compartmentalizing i don't know but it's a good way of like sectioning the bag off i have tried packing cubes before but personally i think they're just too much faff and i just don't like them um so i prefer just to do it this way so i pop just literally just chuck all the bikinis in here and then when i'm at the hotel i will obviously unload these into a drawer and then these will then be used for like underwear like dirty laundry stuff like that and then again you have everything kind of neat and tidy in your bag and then i always do this as well when it comes to clothes i'll pack everything i need and then i panic and then put in some random things so I've got these little kind of beige linen shorts. These are from Amazon. They're just quite like an easy thing to wear. And I've also got this really cute like little knit top. This is from a brand called Reform. And I don't know what this will look like on, but I'm gonna take it just in case. And then I also always pack just loads of basics. So that means I'm kind of covered with any outfit. Um, I can always just add a basic. So I'm gonna take the white Zara bodysuit because it's a classic. And also obviously, the black Zara bodysuit. Am I going to wear black? I'm probably not going to wear black. I try to avoid wearing too much black on holiday. Keep that for the UK. Um, it would be nice to have like a little kind of racer back top if I have one. Oh yeah, I've got this one here from Zara. So I'll add that one in the mix as well. Okay, now I'm going to sort out toiletries and things like that. So I always have these two bags. I love this see-through one. I think this one's just from Amazon. And it's just good because you can see all of your stuff. It's really spacious. You can fit a lot in there. So a quick rundown of what I've got in here. I've got my Elizabeth Arden 8-hour cream. This is the body moisturizer. This is insane, so good. I've got my Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner. I've got a Bondi Sands um, sleep mask, and this is um, like a kind of overnight tanner. As on holiday, I always tan my body, but never my face, so it's good to match that up. Now, this Kate Somerville SPF is my new favourite thing on holiday. It's a makeup setting spray. It's got SPF 50, and it's just so, so good. It smells like lavender as well. Very collagen cleansing balm. I've got my Elemis pro collagen marine cream but my lms toner this is also really nice on holiday just as a bit of a face spray um if you keep it in the fridge it's just really refreshing i've got some mini moroccan oil shampoo 
I've got my mini Moroccan oil oil mini GHD bodyguard heat protect spray I've got some simple makeup wipes I don't use it for makeup removing it's just nice to have wipes when you're on holiday to like I don't know wipe your body down or whatever I've got a Kerastase mask and then in this little box here which is this really gorgeous design from HA designs it's got my initials so in here I kind of keep like smaller items and makeup I've got my Penhaligon's Oud de Nil they've actually discontinued this which is so sad because this fragrance is insane but yeah I'm a bit funny with perfumes I really like to wear a specific perfume on holiday because when you smell it it always takes you back to that holiday I've also got some Elemis dynamic resurfacing facial pads these are so good for like removing fake tan and just like evening out skin texture my hair rods obviously and then other than that everything else is just makeup I've got my retainers obviously um, makeup brushes and I'll probably add some more things in here but yeah I normally put this and this in my suitcase last just because I tend to use everything in here right up until we go okay and then in terms of accessories I've got a really exciting one actually it's just behind me how amazing is this bag I am obsessed it's from Saint Laurent and I'm actually renting this via the Cocoon Club which is a luxury handbag rental service and it's honestly so perfect because this is the kind of bag that is so good for on holiday because you just chuck all your stuff in there you can get a towel water bottle um, everything in here but it's not the kind of thing that I would really use in the UK that much and I think these are about a thousand pounds if you buy them brand new and I don't really know if it's a gonna hold its value and B and B stay kind of on trend over the next few years I mean it is pretty classic but it's definitely a trendy item right now so it's the kind of thing that if you rent it's just perfect because you have the bag and um, you're not spending loads of money and then you just give it back so I couldn't recommend Cocoon Club more this isn't an ad or anything and um, they did really kindly gift me the service um, but yeah they're incredible so I've got this is a beach bag and I might use it as an airport bag as well not really sure yet so this is when the taking photos of your outfits comes in really handy because they're all packed I don't want to unpack them and see what bags I need probably should have done this beforehand but what I can do is look at the photos and see which bags will go. So I definitely think the white Lady Dior, like any white bag is just so great on holiday. Here she is in all of her glory. Um, the dust bag that actually came with this is such a squeeze to get this into. So I don't know if there's a mistake or something. Um, but yeah, I normally just use this dust bag, which is a dust bag from Pauline Paris but I love it because it's really thick and um like my bags were really protected when I use it or do I take my base Chanel mm. it'll be one or the other I think and then the other bag I'm going to take is my round Louis Vuitton I'm going to grab that quick this baby one of my favorite bags in the summer wears so well honestly it's got no sign of wear and I've used this to absolute death and this will be the bag I like carry on the plane and stuff like that so I'll pack that um at a later point in this video. I just remembered as well, I'm obviously gonna need a razor. So I've got my Estrid one and it's really handy because it comes in a case. So I've got a clean blade as well. So I'm gonna pop that in there. And then obviously as well, I'm gonna have things like toothpaste and my toothbrush, all of that, but you guys don't need to see it. Um, also, random, but look at my nails. Wait, yeah, look at my nails. These are my holiday nails. I got them done yesterday at London Grace. And honestly, they are such perfectionists in there, it's insane. Um, and I love them so much, so I just got French tips. Another thing I have just remembered is leave-in conditioner. I normally use the Moroccan oil one, but um, I've only got a large size and I want to take a mini. So this one's from Way, and it's so good on holiday because if you like go in the pool or go in the sea, just put a bit of this on your hair afterwards and it just looks after it a bit better than leaving it just to dry naturally. And then just in terms of hair equipment, I am gonna take my Dyson Air Wrap, my GHD Curved Tong, and then also my GHD Straighteners. Actually ignore that, I'm gonna take my GHD um, Unplugged Straighteners. These are the wireless ones. And these are so little and cute and just great for traveling. So I'm gonna take these instead. Okay, and then just in my little handbag that we'll take on the flight, this is everything I'm taking. So I've got my Saint Laurent um, sunglasses case, my Saint Laurent sunglasses. 
um, a Napco scrunchie. I always take these wet wipes around with me, like wherever I go, um, just to like sanitize your phone and stuff like that. I've got some cow shared hand spray. This stuff smells so, so good. I love it. Obviously passport. I always carry a mini perfume around. This one is Penhaligon's Cairo mask, obviously. Favorite lip combo, my purse, my um, AirPods and some paracetamol. So I'm pretty much all packed, I'm very impressed with myself. By the way, I've got, um, what are these called? Whitening strips in my teeth. I always whiten my teeth before I go on holiday. I'll link the ones I use down below. They're so good, they don't give you any sensitivity. And they just, yeah, they really work. So I'll link these down below. Do you know what, I'm gonna take these out because I can't concentrate. And there we go, I have lovely white teeth again. I've obviously had my teeth professionally whitened, but I do find that because I drink things like tea, they do get a little bit stained. So just whitening them every so often really does help. I'm so impressed with myself because I'm pretty much packed. I've only filled up half the suitcase. I mean, I'm definitely gonna fill up the rest of it with probably random stuff. So as you can see here, I've got all of my clothes and I've just put in like the electrical bits here as well. And then on this side, I've got my makeup and bits. I will probably wrap these in a plastic bag just in case anything leaks. Um, I'll probably add some more shoes here and any other like last minute bits can also go here And then I've just got to pack my carry-on flight bag, which is um, the Santa Ron bag and then I'm done pretty much Okay, and then in my carry-on I'm gonna take my laptop so I can do some editing on the plane I'm gonna take my Chanel classic flap. This is the black one just so I have it with me I don't like to put my handbags in my main luggage just in case this will also probably end up going in there as well um, this is the one I packed earlier um, but just for ease I'll probably end up putting it in here and yeah to be honest I think that's going to be it um, I'm gonna take another handbag. I haven't decided between the Lady Dior and um, my other Chanel Classic flap. So whatever one it is, that will also go in here. So I'll pop that on my suitcase already for tomorrow if it wants to stay. And I've also just got my airport outfit planned. So I'm gonna go for that Stradivarius linen shirt, um, Amazon leggings, Amazon top, and those chunky trainers I showed you guys earlier. And that, my loves, I think is the end of my little pack with me. I have got an event tonight. I'm going to a dinner, so I've just um, got changed. How amazing are these jeans? I actually think these might be my new favorite pair. Um, I've never had a straight leg jean that I've liked ever. This is the first one I've ever come across and they're perfect. Apart from, I think I definitely could have gone an inch longer because I am gonna wear it with heels. And I think, yeah, another inch or two at the end would be good. But um, I'll link these down below. I think they're like 25 pounds really affordable anyway getting very sidetracked um make sure you go follow me on instagram if you don't already because i will have all of the mykonos content up there airport outfit stories recommendations the lot and i will see you guys in my next video i am wishing you a really lovely rest of the week i love you all so 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 much and i will see you next time bye Mwah.